It's such a pleasure to be here. I've, of course, um, only started um, in my job in about a year ago at the United Nations, and I've heard multiple times about the, about the Nexus Summit, and to be here personally and talk to all of you is indeed a great honor. Um, and I, as I walked into this room this evening, I felt the incredible energy, optimism, and the possibilities of positive change that can be co-created when we come together in partnership to find solutions to our ever-growing challenges. So I couldn't be more pleased to join all of you, um, and I welcome you to our home, the United Nations. Um, as is, was already said, this year's theme is the next generation solutions for a world in transition resonates with the Secretary General's vision of placing young people as a cross-cutting priority for the UN system, as partners in development and as co-creators of results-oriented solutions that empower, protect and connect young people and their communities and help advance the sustainable development agenda that we are all passionate about. Development Goals offers a people-centered, planet-friendly blueprint for development, and not only this agenda is a promise to all people across the world to ensure human dignity for all, it also presents a dawn of new era as to how we need to conduct business in order to protect our planet. We are now three years into the implementation of the 2030 Agenda and a multitude of stakeholders, including businesses, NGOs, young people, scientific community, are also helping the member states drive this implementation process. At the just concluded high-level political forum last week, which is the highest level global culmination of the follow-up and review of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, young people participated and reminded member states that they stand and ready to engage and are not afraid to roll up their sleeves to contribute to the agenda's implementation. Young people con constitute a tremendous asset and an essential asset that that is worth investing in. Doing so not only benefits young people themselves, but also their communities and opens the door to an unparalleled multiplier effect. Young people are also a demographic imperative. That is the case that I often make here at the United Nations in my role. Our world is currently home to the largest population of young people in history, which most of us in this room belongs to. Currently, half of the world's population is under 30 years of age, and close to 90% of them live in developing countries. However, we are not here to talk about the problem, we are here to talk about the solutions and the critical role young people can play and must play in advancing the sustainable development goals. I want to acknowledge all of you who have been doing exceptional projects, programs, and initiatives to help us, the UN, and the member states advance the implementation of the 2030 Agenda. And I really count on your support, your leadership, your innovation, and your creativity to us to step up and speed up our game towards the 2030 uh, destination. Um, we are yet to realize the fullest potential of young people, not just in the global south, but also in the global north and the most developed countries in the world as well. Still, we face higher levels of unemployment, underemployment, about 600 million young people live in conflict-affected and humanitarian settings, 400 million young people do not have access to basic health care. So as much as we understand and appreciate young people as entrepreneurs and change makers, we have to also keep off focus on those most underrepresented, most marginalized, most vulnerable young people who constitute a majority in our world right now. And as I always say, our generation, the generation that is represented in this room, is the SDG generation. If we do not realize our full potential and if we do not contribute to the development of this agenda, the realization of this agenda, then achieving the sustainable development goals is going to be a dream rather than a reality. So again and again, I come on all your support and really look forward to engaging more. Thank you very much.